I'm here to share with you today why and how we know that some crystals do indeed have healing powers. And as a geologist, I never expected that sentence to leave my mouth. But I'm here today to tell you a story about how a unique mineral group called zeolites are being used to heal the soil in Los Angeles. Lead is a potent neurotoxin that was banned by the EPA in 1978, but contamination endures. Lead exposure can come from things like water pipes or paint, but for this story, the lead comes from the ground, from the soil. A lead acid battery recycling plant polluted a large region in what some have referred to as the worst environmental disaster in California history. For 30 years, citizens fought to shut down the plant, but it remained in operation until 2015. So how do we get rid of the lead? Well, a contamination zone is defined, topsoil is removed and disposed of, and clean soil replaces it. But you still have contaminated soil to deal with, lead doesn't follow a prescribed boundary, and you've removed the top few inches of soil, what about beneath that? And this process is expensive, and it's time consuming, and it will be years before many yards are lead free. In the wake of this injustice, East LA has been ground zero for citizen science and activism. Prospering Backyards is a community science initiative started at the Natural History Museum of Los Angeles that blends art and science to address lead contamination. The goal of Prospering Backyards is to provide free soil lead testing to residents living in LA. And while, they're wait, while they wait, they're provided with help from an unusual resource. Zeolite minerals to trap the lead and ultimately make their yard safe again. Now remember when I mentioned that I'm a geologist, a majority of my work uses minerals to understand the timing and rates of processes like faulting and mountain building occurring over millions of years. So how do I apply the study of ancient processes to a project dealing with lead sequestration? The secret lies in the laboratory techniques. As it turns out, the same imaging techniques that I use in other as aspects of my research can teach us about how lead absorption works. Now you might not know it, but you've interacted with zeolites in your everyday life. They're a major ingredient in detergents, in cat litter. They're an additive to gasoline. Scientists discovered a zeolite mineral named clinoptilolite absorbs lead from soil. And prospering backyard scientists have been sprinkling and watering this lead absorbing zeolite on contaminated lawns as a sequestration solution while waiting for government cleanup. But there are still some outstanding questions. Does any clinoptilolite work for this application? Does the lead remain trapped long term, even if your kid eats it? My research works to determine how the crystal incorporates lead into its structure. And by determining how this is happening on the molecular level, I can ultimately understand lead stability and absorption. Here we have an image of a zeolite mineral viewed under a high-powered microscope. You can see these linear features running from left to right. Zeolites are made of sheets, and at the molecular level, these sheets are made of ring structures that trap water, and they can also trap elements like lead. And when stacked, these ring structures create tubes called channels. And each zeolite has a unique channel shape and geometry. Think of it like a maze with a series of trap doors. When lead moves through a zeolite with the correct chemistry and channel geometry, the trap doors will shut and the lead will remain bonded within the crystal. The issue is not all zeolites can absorb lead. Additionally, scientists don't know where the lead goes or how it's being trapped at the molecular level. 
With 3D X-ray imaging, I can see inside crystals exposed to lead to determine if and where the lead enters. As it turns out, the zeolite used in the Prospering Backyard study works to trap lead, and once trapped, that lead is not released. I show that lead is being absorbed at the edges of broken grains. The breaks in the grains allow for openings in the channels. And the best way to maximize lead absorption is to decrease your crystal size, essentially showing that powdered zeolite works best. We hope that one day, people living in East LA can play in their yards without fear, healing the soil to in turn heal a community. So yes, some crystals do indeed have healing powers. <laughs>